see tonight how far the light will lead beyond the cage. The revolution of the new century will take its content from the poetry of the future. And now, for a video of tributes from a diversified audience. Shadul's the real deal. They've put his body where his mouth is for his whole life, and that is remarkable. He's been a leader in photojournalism for decades. His work in Bangladesh has hugely changed the national body. He has a vision. He wants the world to change. He hates injustice. In all this work, all this practice, he's introducing him this philosophy, his way of thinking. One of the things with Shail that makes him singular is he is so international. He literally transcends boundaries. He's a citizen of the world, for sure. The way I found him to be primarily is as a mentor and a teacher. He brings people together. He shares his knowledge, the knowledge of others. He cares deeply about mentoring younger photographers, photo editors, curators, and he's an activist. There is a world-class standard of what a humanitarian is, and I think that Chagul matches that, almost defines it. Here's a man born of privilege, who could have gone anywhere in the world to be whatever he wanted to be, but he chose to stay in Bangladesh, and not only to be a photographer in Bangladesh, but to help build up an entire photography community. Shoei Bala set up Drake in 1989, and so by setting up Drake, it brought under one roof an amazing visual card. When he develops his Biennale Festival, Tribunella, he put that festival for one good reason, so that people in Bangladesh would come and see photography they would never see otherwise. The kind of photographers he has trained to become the kind of image makers of the future has also changed the way we view South Asia, the way we view Bangladesh, the way we also join the bigger dots of bigger story through engagement with itself. I think it's very motivated by creating a place for Bangladesh on the world stage in terms of photography and storytelling. And he's also very motivated by Bangladesh being able to sustain itself. Chagul is fierce in his absolute commitment to justice and to uncovering problems that need to be uncovered. None of this is cost free. Chagul knows that what he's doing is making enemies. He's in Bangladesh one of the voices of reason in a very articulate voice. And that is probably the reason that he is in jail right now. Having him in jail is not only silencing him, taking his voice away, but it's instilling fear amongst these younger photographers, these younger journalists uh, that he has nurtured over the years. The inspiration of the is real. For anybody who cares about justice, for anybody who cares about what's happening in this world, Shadul's actions and his words are going to be of increasing importance. Because it's not just about Shadul Anam, it's about journalism and freedom of speech and freedom of expression and freedom of information around the world. He's one of those people that was born with a deep commitment to trying to make the world a better place.